And uh, Goro's got two hits on armor too, so. Yes. So all the armor breaking setups. Really hard to pressure Goro as well, so you kind of just have to play the neutral really strong. To fear me. Round one, fight. No. Oh, hey, wake uh, up. So I've noticed uh, Fever King Jr. likes to do that a lot. Just start around armor, either punch block or uh, tell his stomp like he did there. Grab. So yeah, we what do you think this what do you think this matchup looks like? I honestly don't know. It seems, it seems like it'd be five five, because they, they both have things that can Yeah, I, I can see that. Ooh, good read on the jump. Oh the safe armor on the end. Yo, these side switch combos though are kinda OD. I haven't seen the side switch. Yeah, he, he making my uh my gore look pretty bad in comparison. Ooh, oh, that's a good it's break. I don't know if the setup yeah, setup's not gonna work before. Yeah, he's he's getting mixed so. Round two, fight. Ooh, good down one check. Oh, that overhead. Alright, you, you just gotta keep him out. Ooh, he oh, missed the grab. I, I think what happened there was he did the grab too early. I don't know. No, he's been ducking grabs a lot, so. Yeah, I, I, I see real Harris likes to just neutral jump for the grab instead, so. Ooh. Oh, oh, I can't believe you tech that. Man, these boys are really good at second throws. Nice jump. Um, he's going for damage. He can't break his armor. Oh. He needs to go for straight damage. Yeah. What a good side switch again. He's, he's so his. Oh, oh my god. god. As smooth as possible of a transition of commentators, I think. <laughs> yeah. That one got out here real, real quick. Here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> nice. Safe. Good armor. Into a setup. Oh. Yeah, yeah. 24% uh, on the unfinished combo. Still not too bad of a deal for Real Harris. We got to get out of the no. Goro situation. Get out of the corner as a result of the Excavatar stab. You know, um, it's good just to keep an opponent on their toes. Raises the likelihood of anything working. Oh. That missed, was... Missed the confirm. Missed the confirm. Missed the concept of, like, safety and just Damn. an all-around weird decision. Maybe on the assumption I think that, like... He, he thought it was going to reach. Because that's a... That range on that normal is pretty... Back pretty two, back two. Yeah. Or, yeah rather, back two, two. Uh, yeah, quality move. Um, I, I, I think with the double hits of armor on punch walk that he needs to cash out damage in the corner and then kind of back off and try to zone again. Uh, no, he's got to keep the opponent cornered with uh, Dragon Fang's Goro, whose command grab is really good in the corner because the uh, horizontal um, knockdown is not, it doesn't matter with the opponent cornered. Good arm. Speaking of corner, Real Harris missing that twice. You know Goro actually is harder to hit a lot of combos on? Yeah. Yeah. He shrinks, so things like Jack's back 3-4 overhead dash punch with Fangoro. Totally unhit confirmable since day one of Goro patch. Does 114 command grab and Kotal with on him too? Um, can you move your mic a little bit closer to your mouth? Yeah, 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 yeah. That better? Yeah. yeah. Um, wow, what well, you said 114 command grab whips as well? I think so. It does on Ferritors. It's another big body issue. Yeah. You see, that uh, was a shimmy. That was a shimmy. That was supposed to be a confirm. But I think the threat of a delay when walking up and presenting a threat is already just a great thing for Real Harris to do. The, the fact that Forever King now has to be worried about hesitations and shimmies like that is excellent. Dick set up. Wow, Vault Projectiles yeah, tagged Quality, unbreakable, 10%. Could become a bigger factor now with Goro around 15% health left. Yeah, we just spent all this bar, too. Spending the bar, despite oh, nice. obviously going to win the rounds here. He, didn't make I the, think. he was about to make the same mistake there with the back 2-2. Two -two. Yeah. 
letting Goro build a lot of meter all the way at X right now. Going to be a big deal in the next round. Full butter, boys. Yeah, yeah, on one side of the screen. I would say full butter is when the butter reaches to both sides of the screen. Uh, that's when it's just, you know, like instant heart disease. Everyone's so scared for what's going to happen next in MKX when full butter is on the screen. I like it. Yeah. Heart disease or heart attack, whatever. I, I'm more of the heart attack, but I get really nervous on stream with a full meter and all that. Oh, good armor. You can't break. Yeah. Um, you really have to. Good. Stamina, a much bigger deal to Predator than Goro. Goro doesn't use his run speed because it is a jog speed <laughs> and is not going to be canceling anything in any variation. So breaking, oh, definitely great for Forever King Jr. who takes the rounds. With a brutality. Is that, is potentially. That a six frame down one? Yeah, Goro six frame down one. Um, and seven frame down three with amazing frame data on block and hit. Seems Goro's like pokes are fantastic. Good on the down one too. That too, yeah, Nashing. just by virtue of six frames. <laughs> and uh, I, it's not punishable, it's not a punishable poke. It is minus. But uh, down three is either neutral or plus one. I, I don't remember. Good with punish. Did not get any disc cancel on jump kick. Side switch from Forever King Jr. Optimal stuff, both in regards to damage and side switching. I like the idea, but the trade went in the Forever King Jr.'s favor as well, outside of the positioning. But to do just, I mean, Goro's telestomp is like 14 percent. <laughs> to do that to armor and then still be neutral after because Predator's Kibitar stab takes so long to recover. Great look for Forever King Jr. Big damage. He, he could just get so easily chipped out. <laughs> Rise and fight. Did you just see Goro sweep? Yeah. Have you seen that before? No, that's the first time I've seen it. I think Forever King yeah. knows this. Junior knows this match from his brother. Oh, yeah? It seems like he knows yeah, this match. Yeah, that would make sense. Back in, the day. back in the day. Great days, man. That, that patch with the uh, unstoppable Predator. When he was broke predator. as hell. Yeah. <laughs> that was a very fast single normal cancel. Um, makes sense to do after like a jump three. in that's clearly going to be blocked. You can see if the opponent's blocking in a PX, it's a block button game, so you you have an idea to go towards a mix-up instead of a hit confirm potential in advance. Right through everything. Punch block. They end up neutral after both of those things whiff. It's very funny. <laughs> whiff punish. Big damage as well. The end of a setup. Mix. Oh, I dropped it. That was his game. Nerf. Getting to real Harris. Double neutral jump punch. Um, I'd like to say that's an accident. But the knockdown's pretty good. No, not, I th not I a think bad the double neutral is on purpose. Really? Yeah, he does that a lot. Was um. So do you think, like, was jump kick, air disc cancel not in range, or would that have dropped as a combo? I'm, I'm not sure. Honestly, sometimes he just mixes it up. Oh, yeah. yeah. Mi mixes it up when he has potential to KO as well. Kill. We can say kill in MKX, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the Batman gear from Forever King Jr. is, I mean, it matches by color. The exact logos are the same. Wait, no. Are they different Batman logos? No. Same thing. Nice. Looks perfect. like it. He's ready for Injustice too. Yeah. Um... I'd like to say I am too. I, uh, knowing that Injustice 2 is going to be a legacy game and most of the characters are going to stay mostly the same. Yeah. The head start we have if we played Injustice, which I did a lot, is immense. Yeah. Like that's going to be problematic. It'll be much harder for new players. It's going to be a fun game. It looks did like Did you play Injustice 1? Yeah. Okay. I good. didn't play it competitively, but I, I played it. Yeah. That, that was like my breakout game. Yeah, MK is my first game, so. Caller 2, co new costume character, or. This, I, feel, I have a feeling this match is going to be rough for Predator. You think so? Yeah. You he, can, he can counter zone a rarely lot. Rarely do you see slow big bodies being chosen against Predator. Especially uh, when it's the score is 2-1 in one player's, in the non-Predator -pre player's favor. 
that's a it wasn't a desperate counter pick, it was more of an experiment, and we'll see how it works. I'd say this is a Forever King Jr.'s main at this point. Main and game cancels are a huge deal. Sorry? One confirmed can be 53%. So. Yeah, yeah, so long as that bar is there for um, any X Parrot boss. Safe 50 50 is both at the start and end of strings from Ferrator as well, so long as he gets into your face. Cashes out the bar, drops the setup. Yeah, I don't know why he did sand 3 instead of sand 4, but uh, spending a bar still allowed him to take it. However, spending that bar also could have led him to his death, considering that amount of health. I would have preferred to see like some chip, down 4 laser, safe stuff. A little bit of a risky choice. Yeah. Good block. That was a punish that was missed, though. Disc? No. Yo, laser. what is with the programming on Farah just running around like that? <laughs> She's really panicked about Tor taking a few hits. Oh, it, like, girl, it's just a 12% throw. Like, your character's not dead, chill. <laughs> That's plus. Overhead Farah um, has variable plus frames when cancelled off of certain strings because of distance. Um, particularly a plus is the amazing pushback on forward two overhead Veritas. And that's also a very hard to react to 50-50, um, knowing that Vol Girl hits low and is also you can cancel into it. Wow. Yeah, I don't know this character very, very well at all. As I, I know a lot of Ferrator. <laughs> I find them very entertaining, especially by virtue of the fact that they're so underrepresented. Forever King Jr., Biohazard, Gur, I think. Yeah, uh, um, my friend Juan, <laughs> he, he brought my interest to the character initially, Juan Valet back in like launch when the character was nowhere near as good. But I always saw some like amazing potential with plus frames on an overhead that you can cancel into. This looks miserable. Oh, that's 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 going to be almost game. Especially with the meter deficit as well. An armored option select. We'll take oh. it. We'll take it. Exactly. <laughs> he read my mind. I read his mind. Look, Exploding what, boys. Dude, why don't I main Ferrator? <laughs> I think he has his bad matchups. Armored option select. Yeah, crazy. We'll take it. <laughs> God. Mm, I'm such a good commentator. <laughs> <laughs> Real Harris, not yeah. happy. Not pleased. Yeah, yeah. Your, your expectation against a big body as his owner is, well, I mean, just shoot him a yeah. bunch, and uh, it didn't work out. Oh. Um Anti-zoning tools from Ferrator when they land are a huge deal because of the knockdown on both Bowl Girl and Ferratos. 